I'm Jane from Skein Sisters and today I'm going to steak my cardigan. Well it's a jumper now but it will be a cardigan after I've cut it. Guess what, I've never done this before. <sighs> so scary. So I've knit this cardigan, as you can see it's still at the moment a jumper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down the middle here oh, to make it a cardigan. So I don't know about you but I love a cardigan. I'm not much of a jumper wearer. I prefer a cardigan because I run a bit hot. Um, why, why would I do this, you ask? <laughs> because um, it's much easier to knit colour work in the round than back and forth. And um, when you knit in the round as well, you don't have to purl so much. And I hate purling. I like knitting. So you can just knit, 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 round and round. You can do it with a plain jumper as well, like a plain pattern. It doesn't have to be colour work. It could be just all the one colour. But you just knit and then you cut it down the middle. Don't be scared, it'll be okay. I hope. So, if you want to do that, what you do need to do is add some stitches in the middle. So, if it's a pattern that's written to, to steep or to cut, then it will usually have extra stitches because they're the ones that you're going to cut. But if it's just a pattern that you want to make into a cardigan, you just cast on about, depends on the yarn you're using, but five or seven or nine even extra stitches here because they're the ones that you're going to cut. So obviously that's in the centre front, isn't it? In the centre front, yeah. or wherever you want to cut it. You yeah. can cut, you can stick sleeves as well, armholes. Um, so it's, yeah, all sorts of options. Um, and for me, this yarn I'm using is, is not a sticky, non-superwash yarn, which is what colour work and, and steak patterns are normally done in. Um, it's the Cartier Cotton Merino. Um, and so what I've done is I've needle felted the steaked stitches and I've sewn them with the sewing machine as well to, um, to make sure that they don't come undone when I cut it. So needle felting, you use these little, this little uh, duva, which is a needle felting tool, which is a clover one, and um, you have a little mat. And basically you're just going to put it underneath where, you, where you're doing and you just, well, you unlock it first. <laughs> unlocked. <laughs> you just jab it like that a whole heap of times, a bit more than that, all the way down. I did it on both sides um, as well and you can see that it goes all fuzzy in the middle. The stitches, they look different. So that kind of makes the stitches stick together um, like that, like that, you know, so that they so that they don't come undone. I, have, I did practice that on my swatch. Um, and then when, after I needle felted it, I just sewed a line of straight stitches with my sewing machine. Where do you, how do you know where to do that line? Well, Jane? you're supposed to do it in between, like down the middle of the stitches. I'm not very precise with my sewing. Um, so I've sort of gone a bit off piste here and there, but you are supposed to do it down the middle. But it probably doesn't, you can do, you can do two lines of stitches as well. So you could do it down the middle and then in between um, the two rows of stitching. Um, but because I had already needle felted it, I didn't worry too much about where I did it. I just tried to sort of do two lines. Um, and then you've got the bands as well. Yeah. Did you do that so afterwards? I picked up the I picked up and knit the button bands first, like before I'm cutting the steak. You can do it after. Um, I thought um, that it would be easier to do the button bands beforehand because that to my in my head puts less um, uh, tension or pressure on the cut stitches once they're cut. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's, that was my thinking on that. <laughs> so that's why I did that. But you can, you can pick them up and knit them afterwards. And there's a really cool technique, um, which is called steak sandwich, which you basically knit two button bands on each side and then join them. And that actually encloses the steak stitches. So, um, I know Kate Davies has done that and Alex Bird, who was here last weekend, she she's, um, has a tutorial for that as well. So um, that's a really neat way. But for this, it's, it's already thick yarn and you want to do um, a double thick button band, which would be four times as thick once you button it. So I've just done a normal one. So. You're going to go for it. <laughs> we've got, we've got Janine here too. <laughs> <laughs> so get yourself a 
sharp pair of scissors. Oh, hang on. Oh. You, you've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? The cardboard. Oh, cardboard. That's right. Thank you. We Get were... yourself a piece of cardboard and put it down the middle inside. Oh. So you don't cut the other back of your knitting because you don't want to do that. Um, and what you're going to do is you basically, you cut down the middle of the middle stitch. Um, so that's why you cast on an extra five or seven or nine, you know, usually an odd number. Um, but for Shetland, like really sticky yarns, you don't, you can probably only do two or three. Um, it doesn't have to be so many. Okay, I'm going to come in close. Okay, so I've got my sharp stalk scissors. I'm just working out where the middle is. It's here, right? Is that the middle? <laughs> have you got your glasses on? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Now, okay. The other really dumb thing I did when I was knitting this, um, no, there's my, that's the middle there because that's my stitching, um, just there, is I actually somehow, oh, off she goes, um, cast on an extra stitch halfway down my steak. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like you, Jane. Well, not, I didn't cast it on, I just made an extra stitch somehow. Um, so when I get a bit further down, you might see it. Anyway, it doesn't matter because. It's in the steak. And you're just whipping through that. Oh, well, it's like butter. Here it is. Oh, yeah, just there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. I didn't even notice it until I was um, needle felting it. I think I've gone a bit off centre, haven't I? Doesn't matter. It doesn't look like it. I'm just going to move that cardboard down. And then when you finish the steak, um, you can, if you want to, and I am going to. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, now it's um, a cardi. Sew it, sew it down. Put a bit of ribbon over it and sew it down just to hide any loose edges. Well, that'll make the rib the band fold over properly too, yeah. won't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I have sewn all those ends in. I just, uh, I just haven't cut them off yet. Look at that. It's a cardigan. Great. Can I just ask, yeah. up the top, yep. your colour work, you were still yes, you, floating you, across. You, you float across, you, you, you actually, um, you don't float right across the steak. You have to do, um, you have to do your colour work across the steak. Okay. Because right. if you float the strands, then they're loose. Yeah. So, and that's why, again, you do like five or seven and you either checkerboard them or you stripe them. Okay. So if you've got two colours, you, you'd go dark light, dark light, dark light or whatever. Or, and you'd, then you'd alternate on the next row or you'd actually just stripe them down. But mm. you do have to keep swapping this, um, the colours across your stick. You don't want to strand the floats all the way across if you can help it. Yeah. Um, just because it's, yeah, loose. They're looser stitches. They're more likely to come and done. So you can see that's pretty... Oops, sorry. Yeah, pretty secure. But yeah, I am gonna cover it with a little ribbon and sew it down. Yeah, that'd be oh, beautiful. Extra, extra What's work. the pattern? Oh, the pattern is. Do I say that? No. The pattern is um, Soul Bean, S O L B E I N, by Mary Jane Muckleston. Look at that! Yay! Yay! Um, <laughs> Yay! Gorgeous. Again. So fantastic. Don't be scared about cutting in. 